Welcome to the standalone edition of Legal Aid. This version creates legal descriptions from a parcel that you save to a DXF file. This means that you can now use Legal Aid with virtually any program that can create a DXF file. Now, unlike our other versions of Legal Aid, this version does not run inside of AutoCAD and, in fact, does not require AutoCAD at all. All of the other features, however, are still the same. To create a legal description, you must first draw the parcel as a polyline. You will do this using your own surveying or CAD software. In its simplest form, that's all you need to do. If it's a closed parcel, Legal Aid will go ahead and create the legal description with the assumption that the POB is at the beginning of the polyline. If instead the POB is located at one of the other corners, then insert a piece of text at that corner and Legal Aid will start the legal description there. Note that the text must say POB and it must be inserted at the exact corner location as the POB. If you want to include tie lines from a point of commencement, then draw those in as a second polyline. And just like the POB, you must use a piece of text to indicate where the point of commencement is. And of course, the other end of the polyline must connect to the POB of the parcel. Finally, if you want to include corner descriptions from the drawing, they must be located right at the corner, just like the text for the POB and POC. Now you're ready to export the drawing to a DXF file and then load it into AutoCAD. If the drawing only contains these items, then you can just export the entire drawing. If, however, there are other items in the drawing, then you must set the DXF out command to selectively export only the polylines and text for this parcel and ignore the rest of the drawing. Now let's start Legal Aid. The first screen that appears is the introductory title screen. It includes a brief set of instructions here. And if you need additional help or a quick refresher, there's a link to a short tutorial video that you can watch here. To create the legal, click the load button at the bottom and select the DXF file that you created. Next, you'll choose the units that you used in the CAD program, and there's the legal description. Now, if you've used Legal Aid before, everything from here on is exactly the same as our Legal Aid versions that run in AutoCAD. If you're new to Legal Aid, keep watching and I'll give you a brief overview of the rest of the program. The legal description is created by piecing together phrases of text based on the geometry in the parcel. Each of these phrases can be individually customized to suit your own particular needs or writing style. The phrases are stored in what we call a phrase library, and there are 10 of them. This means that you can create as many as 10 sets of customized phrases to use when creating your legals. To switch to a different phrase library, just select it from the menu, and the new format is applied to the legal. To customize a phrase library, First select it from the menu and then select Edit Phrases. The first three tabs have settings to control the number of decimals to display and how distances and angles are formatted. The remaining tabs pertain to the actual phrases. So for example, here on the Courses tab, we have the phrase for a standard curve. It contains the basic text for the phrase, and it also contains special codes that you can see here in the square brackets. These codes tell the program to either perform a formatting action or to insert a piece of information into the phrase. So here in this phrase, we tell the program to put in two carriage returns, then insert the arc direction, the arc length, the curve direction, and so on. You can include additional information by just typing in the code manually, or you can select it from the menu here. Also, over here on the first tab, you can choose to calculate the results based on the decimal places that you specified, or to just use the full precision of each corner location. Using the rounded values gives you a way to do a simple map check. And if we take a look at phrase library four, you can see that we've set it up as a simple inverse with closure information at the end. Now, as you can see, although the dimensional information has been created, the legal description is still not complete. 
we can easily type in or copy and paste the remaining information right into the word processor. Here we can also apply basic text and paragraph formatting and also check spelling. When it's finished, we can save it as a document file or copy and paste it into your favorite word processor. And depending on the CAD software that you're using, you can even copy and paste it back into your drawing. Now at this point, if you want to process another DXF file, just click the DXF button up here on the toolbar or select the file menu and then create deed from a DXF file. If you would like to find out more about Legal Aid or place an order, please visit www.legal-aid.net or our main website at www.agtcad.com.